some sports news. Earlier today, UConn women's basketball defeated Jackson State to open NCAA tournament play. And Fox 61 sports director Jonah Karp has more on today's big win in stores. A dominant 86 to 64 victory for UConn women's basketball over Jackson State to kick off the NCAA tournament here at Gamble Pavilion. A strong performance on defense in the first quarter, helping the Huskies to a win in this one. And two big storylines on the offensive side of the ball. Aliyah Edwards wearing a mask playing for the first time since she broke her nose in the Big East tournament. And Paige Beckers, the Big East player of the year, playing her first NCAA tournament game in two years, leading the way with 28 points. 11 rebounds and seven assists. I thought we did a really good job of changing sides of the floor, uh, making them work, um, cutting hard, screening, screening great, using screens great. What was the game plan coming in against Jackson State? It seemed like there was a concerted effort to really attack the basket. For sure, yeah, just play our game, do what we do best, that transition game for our guards, um, driving and then kicking it out, shooting open threes, obviously crashing the boards. Um, the lead did a great job rebounding today. How did it feel being back out there? Uh, I felt great. Uh, all this feels good to play with my team again. Um, you know, the mass is uh, there to protect me, thankfully, but um, yeah, it felt good. What a day for both Aaliyah and Paige. By the way, this NCAA tournament game, the first for two freshmen in the starting lineup for UConn, KK Arnold and Ashlyn Shade. And what a day for Ashlyn, 26 points to help UConn to a victory. Basketball's a game it's supposed to be fun, and especially like to finally be playing in March Madness is even more exciting, like, because I've dreamed about this since I was little, and no, it's just super. It's super exciting to be a part like it's like finally here. Did you look around Gamble today and say to yourself wow I'm playing in an NCAA tournament game. Definitely like when you warm up I always just like kind of like take in like who, who's all here. I mean we had an amazing student section today. Amazing fan base. I mean we have a great crowd every game but I could definitely feel the love a little extra today. And how about this the Huskies earning this victory on Gino Oriema's 70th birthday which UConn celebrated after the game with with some pretty attention grabbing shirts. Yeah, yeah, peep the shirt. Get that, get that flicked out. Yeah. This was the one I picked out, so. Oh, you got to pick it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all got to pick the pictures on our shirt. I think Nika might have the best one. Ever since I came here, I was like, damn man, looks, reminds me of somebody, reminds me of somebody. And it was always uh, the guy from up, but I tried to find the grumpiest picture. Yeah. There, there we go. <laughs> I'm not sure I liked any of them, to be honest with you. <laughs> Certainly none from the 70s. I don't think that was a good look at all. <laughs> For Big G's 70th birthday, uh, we all had customized t-shirts, and this was, this was my pick, one of my good picks with him. So, What do you wish to be doing at 70 years old, Paige? <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a deep question. Uh, honestly, I still want to be in the old woman rec league playing basketball, <laughs> just continue to hoop, uh, and have a family. Continue to grow my faith, just try to help this world become a better place. Uh, maybe coaching, maybe not. Something along of basketball lines. So UConn women's basketball moves on to the second round of the NCAA tournament. The Huskies will face Syracuse back here at Gamble Pavilion on Monday. In stores, Jonah Carp, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.